Hello everyone, my name is Kylie Rea and I will be presenting um, on behalf of the NYU Langone, Maryland site. Uh, we are located here in Princess Anne, Maryland, which is located on the eastern shore of Maryland. Um, so to begin, our program director is Dr. Mariella DiStefano. Um, she went to dental school in Brazil and did her pediatric residency um, in Boston at Boston University. She worked at the Holy Oak site um, and was a clinical professor at UCSF from 2001 to 2006. Um, and she has been here with this program um, for seven years and has been at the Maryland site for seven years. Um, here, our, our host site is called Chesapeake Healthcare. Um, and these are our two directors here, um, the de department heads, Dr. Ziara up on the left, um, and Dr. McCready, who um, is on the bottom, and they are both general dentists. A full-time attending that we have at our program um, is Dr. Maureen Kasu. She um, is from Deltona, Florida. She went to UCF and um, dental school. She went to University of Pennsylvania, and she went, she did her pediatric residency here um, at the site here, and she has been here for, she graduated from the program three years ago um, and has been working uh, here as an attending ever since and she loves watching Housewives on Bravo. Some of our part-time attendings, um, Dr. Casper and Dr. Scholes, uh, they are great. Uh, Dr. Casper went to University of Maryland, went, did his dental school um, at Tufts University, residency, North Shore University Hospital in New York, um, did a pediatric dental fellowship at Johns Hopkins Hospital, his pediatric dental residency at University of Maryland School of Dentistry, um, he's a diplomat in American Board of the Pediatric Dentistry, and he also has a private pe private practice that he owns um, here in Maryland that we sometimes go to um, and just see how, just work with him there. Um, Dr. Scholes here on the upper left, he went to dental school, University of Maryland. Um, he did his pediatric residency at University of Maryland Hospital, his fellowship, Kennedy Institute, and he practiced in Saudi Arabia for a little bit. I mean, he also has a private practice in Bel Air, so he he's still they both are still practicing um, in their private practice part time, and also are, are part time attendings. Um, Dr. Casper also comes into the hospital with us often, and Dr. Schulz also comes into the surgery center with us. So a little bit about um, Princess Anne. Uh, so Chesapeake Healthcare, I said, is the is our host site that we work at. Um, and Chesapeake is the primary provider of dental services in this area um, and is pretty much the only provider um, for medical assistance populations. We offer comprehensive dental services um, with emphasis on prevention and restorations. Um, we go to schools um, called, we call it Head Start. Um, we do screenings and um, migrant school screenings, expected mother screenings, and school-based uh, sealant program where we go to the schools and we do cleanings and sealants. Um, we do that every so often. Obviously now with COVID, we haven't gone, but we did that a lot last year. And we have, so this is the Princess Anne Clinic, um, 24 dental chairs, 8,775 square feet. It was remodeled in 2010. It's pretty nice. We have designated um, chairs for hygiene, for profies, for restorative, and then when we do our sedation um, in the office, we have a separate section for that as well. Um, and so this is the, so we have two offices that we work out of, the Princess Anne one, and then, and then this is the one in Salisbury. They're about 15 minutes apart, um, so pretty close drive. Sometimes, some days you're in the Princess Anne office, some days you're in the Salisbury office. Salisbury one is a little bit newer, um, these are, this was a picture when we opened it in um, 2018 when it was being remodeled. It's a little bit smaller. It has six dental chairs, um, but it gives you more of that private practice feel with, it, it's smaller um, and you just, you see more patients back to back here. So for the clinical curriculum, um, as a first year resident PGY1, you will do some um, off service rotations you will do two weeks at a pediatric office, um, which is really fun. It's it's fun to take some time away from dentistry for a little bit, um, but learn for that two weeks you're just 
following the doctor and going into rooms with the kids. Um, you're seeing infants, which is nice to see. Um, learning about growth and development with children, of, like vaccines, when they get vaccines, you'll see a lot of newborns. Um, and then you do a four weeks emergency rotation at the hospital, seeing um, pediatric emergency case cases that are usually not dental related. Uh, and then you'll also do a four week long anesthesiology rotation at the hospital uh, where you learn you know, to do intubations and um, do IVs. And then for second years in the PGY2, you, uh, we go, we do medical subspecialties, including endocrinology, cardiology, and immune compromised specialized care. We also do um, an offsite rotation with phlebotomy where we shadow a phlebotomist and we get to draw blood on kids <laughs> and um, an orthodontic rotation as well. We have an, an ortho office that we go to every so often um, to work on ortho cases and um, sedation, general anesthesia. Sedation we do in at the clinic. Um, we do it every morning on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, for N NYU in general, you need to have 25 monitoring. So when you're a first year, you'll do 25 monitoring cases. And then once you get that, you'll, you have to do 25 cases where you're operating. Um, so you'll get that easily here. We have, we do a lot of sedations. We usually do three Tuesday mornings and three on Thursday mornings. Um, in general anesthesia, we have the hospital that we go to, and then we also have a smaller surgery center. Um, right now we're going every, we're going the first Friday of every month, and then um, every Monday we're going. So we get a lot of experience working in um, the OR for general an anesthesia cases. These are just some pictures of some of the offsite affiliations that I was talking about. This is the hospital, PRMC, Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Um, yeah, and this is a picture of the, the eastern shore here. So you can see we're kind of just on, we're on the island here, um, about a two hour drive from Baltimore and like an hour and 45 from Annapolis. Everything is pretty much close by. And, um, so advocacy, um, in March, we go to DC for national advocacy where we um, advocate for certain pediatric dental policies. Um, it's very fun. You get to stay in a hotel for a couple nights, um, get to explore the DC area and meet other dental uh, residents. It depends, sometimes they're first years or second years, but we go our first year. And lastly, just some pictures of residents having fun. Um, we usually, we get lucky and we have pretty fun and easygoing residents. We like to hang out um, on the weekends, you know, go to restaurants. And um, the Delaware beaches are pretty close by. So in the summer, it's fun to go to the beaches around here. There's lots of outdoor activities to do um, if you enjoyed that. Uh, I think this, yeah, this is the last slide, but I know that was quick. Um, I know that everything going on, timing for interviews is, you know, not ideal, but I hope you all enjoyed this presentation and look forward to meeting you all through the Zoom meeting.